okay I'm out here again um, day whatever this is five I think on this build so this will be part two of my video series I'm gonna be building the framing for this part so I've got uh, all the materials here that I'll need and I've even pre-cut some of the key uh, angled a-frame pieces down at the house so those should be ready to go um, some of this might be a little tricky to do solo, but I'm going to give it a try. Okay, I'm back out here this morning to continue on the framing job. Didn't get a whole lot done yesterday because I didn't have much time, but uh, I got the, you know, the beginnings up and so far so good. So I got a ladder and some more lumber and I'm going to continue working on this today. Uh, one of the things I wanted to show you guys was a little bit of a deviation from the plans. So um, the plans that I have for this call for just uh, plywood sheeting on the back wall and then also on the two ends. However, I have a whole uh, pile of these, these tongue and groove boards that kind of lock together. Uh, so I wanted to use these just to save having to buy plywood and maybe they're a little bit more substantial and durable anyway. So I'll be layering those up the back and then also using them for the sides. Uh, but it changes the dimensions a little bit, so I'll have to keep things in mind as I'm putting it together.
Okay, I'm back out here at the cabin. Been working on putting these walls up um, with the tongue and groove boards. And it's been going okay, but it's been slow. So um, I've got most of this front wall done. Haven't even started on the back. So I've got that to do, uh, plus building the entire front uh, piece that swings up. Uh, and I'm, I'm under a little bit of pressure now because the rain is coming. I've got like two days. Um, I'd like to get the roof all put on and the sides closed up before it rains out here. So I'll be working hard uh, today and tomorrow to hopefully get the, get the roof on. done okay so I got these walls completed um, I used this window that I had knocking around in the barn somewhere for a while so that's a free upgrade I think that worked out pretty good um, one of the things that is left uh, I left all these these boards just sticking out and my idea was I'll come down with a saw and just smooth them all out. Um, I've been thinking about how to make a nice clean cut. Um, and I'm not sure how I'll do that yet. I need uh, probably some kind of a guide that I can temporarily place here and run the saw down, but there's not much to measure to. Um, so I'll have to think about that a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so I wanna clean up these edges and then I'll be ready for the roofing material on here and on the back of that wall. Oh, and also I need to build the skylight that goes in here and get that installed and frame out and cover the big awning that goes here. So I need to do that also. I'm getting ready to to build this the frame for the big swing up awning on the front. Um, I have a plan for it in the uh, a design for it in the plans that I got for this thing, but I'm gonna have to make a few adjustments because of the tongue and groove siding that I put on is a lot thicker than the sheeting that they expected you to use. So um, I'm gonna use the basic design idea but with a couple of modifications on the fly.
Okay, I think the fitment looks like it's gonna work. I still have to trim off the those in stair step pieces before I can see how it's really gonna mount on there, but I think it looks all right. Okay, I came up with an idea uh, for setting a fence that I can cut these corners off with. I built this little jig um, and it's got just the dimension here between my uh, circular saw blade and the edge. So the idea is I can set this on here and then make a mark here and every so often where I'll need to put a, a fence that I can run my saw along. So that's my idea. We'll see if this works. Okay, definitely gonna need my uh, safety specs and earmuffs for this one. I think that worked pretty good. I just gotta do the rest. Okay, I got these edges all cleaned up. Uh, so now the next thing I want to do is hang this uh, awning panel on its hinges. All right, I'm out here again uh, on the cabin project. So this is the last day before some rain is in the forecast. Uh, so I gotta get the roof on today, one way or another. So let's get cracking. went on pretty well um, 
and I did some uh, the Tyvek home wrap. I don't know, just cause I was picturing the, so I'm putting a metal roof on and I've noticed in some of my other barns, at least the ones that are exposed metal roof, you get uh, in the winter time that gets cold and you get condensation on that and it, you know, kind of drips down. So I thought maybe this would help uh, from some of that condensation forming in the first place. And then what does form maybe has a tendency to kind of run off and not seep into the wood. Um, so the next thing I need to do here is, is do a transition from the roof to the awning. The instructions that I have call for like a rubber, like a flexible rubber flashing that you roll out along there, but I couldn't find anything like that. So I was going to improvise with these. This is actually part of a rain gutter system. So at least it's four outside. And it's kind of flexible, so I was going to tack these up, and then um, they should be able to flex up when you open the awning. Um, be an experiment, but hopefully it'll work. Okay, let's give that a try. I think it works all right. Okay, that's it for this side. One down, now we gotta do the back. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think that that is going to be it for part two of this build. The roof is done just in time for the rain, so that is great. Um, I think it's coming along nicely. I've got everything enclosed now. Um, place to put all my tools and some wood and things that I don't want to get wet in here. Uh, you know, assuming it doesn't leak. We'll find out shortly. But this is pretty nice, I think. I like this view. And um, yeah, so, so far so good. I think part three is gonna be a door. Um, also, I'm gonna build some shelving in here, like a little uh, 
food prep area and then maybe a little loft up here for either uh, a you know sleeping sleeping space up high or maybe just storage and some trim and some other odds and ends um, the floor still needs that polyurethane so there's a few things uh, so look forward to that in part three